hi there. Um, welcome. New YouTuber. New football manager save. The Wigan Revival. How bad can it be? Hello there, and welcome to episode number one of the Wigan Revival. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. Anyway, um, let's... Wigan, I support them. So, uh, that was the main reason I picked them. To do a save on Football Manager. And I think it'd be a nice little career game. Hopefully, you never know. Might get in the Champions League in three, four, five, six seasons time. Probably the latter, because I'm absolutely awful at Football Manager. Well, you'll find out. You might do anyway. Who knows? might get sacked before you even find out, jeez. <laughs> anyway, looking at the squad, looking at the team in general, in fact, we've got a transfer budget of a million. We don't really need to make any signings, I think, at Wigan, which you'll see later, or in a bit, anyway. Um, very good team, on paper. Very good team, anyway. Um, got a nice balance. We'll probably make a loss this season. I can see us making quite a bit of a loss, but anyway. Um, having a quick look at the team, as I said, um, we've got Yussi Asker landing in net, amazing. Will Grigg up front. Will Shot. I, I don't know, in real life I just think he's an amazing player. He, he, he changes games, I think he's more of a um, super sub rather than starting him, but that's just my preference. <laughs> Defensively I think we could be better, but I think with Reece Wabara and Reese James, we've got two decent defenders there, and we've got Leon Barnett, we've got Craig Morgan, experienced heads. Um, going to the schedule list, we've got first league game I believe is against Coventry City away. Um, it, can, it pretty much mimics real life, so that's good. Um, competitions, as I say, the League One. But board expects is to promotion by winning the league. So I've got no wiggle room there. So I pretty much have to win the league. Um, FA Cup third round, Capital One Cup second round. So that's all doable. Um, got a nice little youth squad. Got a few decent young players, to be honest. We've got um, Jordan Flores. I might try and get him into the team this season. Um, actually, yeah, I will do. He's going to be moved to the senior squad. Promotion already under me. I, we'll see what happens. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I will go through pre-season and be back for the first game of the season. If there's any major transfers, I'll let you know. Looking at the squad right now, we did pick up a th few. Yeah, I can't speak. A few injuries um, during preseason. Yannick Wilshot, I think, is out for three weeks. Yeah. Cole Clough, five weeks, and Michael Jacobs out for two weeks. I don't know why they put 13 days. It annoys me. Um, looking at my team, potentially I could do with a centre mid. I think we're a bit thin on the park there, especially if David Perkins get, was to get injured. I don't know if I trust Junior. Anyway, we'll find out. Might get somebody. Um, so, yeah, I'll have a look at the tactic. Playing a 4 4 1 1. I find it works best on Football Manager. It's the only formation I can kind of get to work. Play a bit of a higher defensive line. Uh, narrow in the width department, but as I say, kind of get it working. So, yeah. You'll see me next in the match where we'll play Coventry away. And welcome. To the match. Coventry away, as I said before. Um, they're the team lineups. Danger match. They've got Joe Cole. It's unfair. Unfair, I tell you. Anyway, um, don't do any opposition instructions, I don't think. And I'll just get my assistant manager to give the team talk, because I'm a lazy bugger. Turn it down a bit. The speed, and let's go. Hopefully, get a nice little win. Um, but I can't see us having a tough season. I say that now. It'll all fall apart. <laughs> anyway. Um, so far, nothing has happened. Exciting stuff. Mm. Yeah, still nothing. Wow. So exciting this match. And then, literally just... Oh no, Chris McCann's gone and picked up a knock. It's not good. I told you. Something like this had happened. Where's he put Left mid. Andy Callick can come on. I usually play a right-footed, left-sided player. Preference. 
but meh. What can you do? Anyway, so nil nil at half time. We're not playing badly, we just had no chances. Um, Will Griggs had a poor rating, I'll bring on Craig Davis. He'll probably get injured, but you know. He's not really had a great season, to be honest, Craig Davis, in real life. I think he's had a few knocks. He's, he's been alright, he's been nothing special there. It's very an average season, we'll just say that. So you join me at a highlight, we're on the attack, it's Junior, finds James to the left, crosses in, oh, that's, that's an awkward one, but it's 1-0, and I'll take it, it's Reese James, my left back, why, why is the question marks, they can get lost, anyway, we've got a 1-0 lead, but they're now straight, I've got a highlight straight away, I don't like this, I don't like it at all, no, no, Nichols, behave, He's got a yellow card as well. What's he doing? Oh, no. What's my defence doing? No. Oh, it's off offside. Worried then. Whistle goes. I've managed to pick a 1-0 victory away at Coventry. It was a really boring game. I kind of decided to edit it a bit. Um, it was. If it was the crew game, Jesus, you'd have had... The video would have been too long. Uh, yeah, crew won 7 1. But a 1 0 win away at Coventry, I think, first game of the season. It's, it's a good result. I would have taken that before anyway. Three points. Three points better off anyway. Um, how long is my can out for? Well, it's only six to eight days, so it's not too bad. I'll take that. Have I been looking at midfielders, centre mids? I, I don't know really who to buy. I, this guy popped up, or Marcel Tishofruz. I'm going to tr try and buy players that I can pronounce. So this Caleb Stanko is American. Um, will he get a work permit though? That's the problem. He's eligible for Poland and Germany. Ooh. Might put a cheeky bid in. Cheeky cheeky. How, how much do they want? 1.6 million. Right. What we'll do. Uh, we'll give you 800k. Right, right. 800k. In over 48 months, we'll give you another 500. H how does that sound? That sounds delightful. And they accept it. Booyah! Hopefully he comes in then. Um, I'll let you know the details. Let's see. Breaking news. Wigan Athletic have signed Freiburg's Caleb Stanko for £925,000. It's a lot of money. But at 22 year old, I reckon he can build on him. We can build on his stats, and I think he's a good bit of business. He kind of strengthens up that midfield we wanted anyway, um, which is good. We've got the Capital One Cup game right now as well, which is good timing. What can I say? Um, probably play a full strength team, because I think Capital One Cup, might as well try and get as far as possible. Um, I'll give you the team lineups. In. So here's the team lineups. It's Wigan Athletic at home, so that's good. Against Mansfield, so it should be an easy win. Caleb Stanko, or how Stanko? I'm gonna go Stanko. Um, gets his first start for the club. Nice game to kind of ease yourself in, I guess. Same pretty much lineup. I want Wilbrig to get a goal, ideally. Um, Gonna kind of go the exact same kind of way about it. I think we should win. We're at home. First lot of highlights. I'll be sure to record. I forgot to press record. Don't blame me. Blame, blame my fingers. Yeah. Anyway, um, they've scored. I, I don't know what else to say. It's a nice goal, but we're losing to Mansfield at home. <sighs> It's a free kick. I'll bring you this highlight. We're moving forward. It's James Stanko. Keller gives it away. Come on. Oh no. Oof. Looking really dodgy on the ball, to be honest. It's not good. It's giving me heart attack. It's giving me heart palpitations and everything. We've got James on the left. Their keeper gets it though. It's not good. It's not good at all so far this match. Let's go live. It's a corner. It's Pierce. It's 1 1. And Jason Pierce from the corner. Nice goal, that. Nice header. Bullet. Bullet. Boom. Straight in the net. That's what I like to see. 
it's another highlight straight away. It's got a quick pace just now this game. It's a bit more lively. McLeaney. McLeaney down the right. Oh, it's Callard. It's 2-1. From 1-0 down. We're going up 2-1. Comeback's on. Comeback's done. Come, comeback's complete. Just hope I don't concede. That defence looks shaky. Anyway. So, at half time, it is Wigan Athletic 2, Mansfield 1. Been, been alright, half to be honest. Not many highlights, but the highlights that were decent. Going into the second half of the lead. I'm not going to change much. I don't know why, where's Craig Morgan stressed? He's playing a freaking League 2 team. He shouldn't be stressed, he should be chilling, he should be on the beach. Maybe not on the beach. On the pitch. Anyway, next. I'm really bad at this. Don't blame me. Um, missed another goal, it was for me. Um, it's 3-1 now. Vukic with a nice pass to McElhaney. McElhaney plays it onto the wing. And we're bar a great cross. Will Grigg, front post, 3-1. Should be game over, hopefully. Um, go live again. Uh, I'm going to make a substitution, I think. Um, bring Harris Vukic off. Bring on Max Power, the man with an amazing name. I'm jealous of his name. Anyway, it should be game over now. Anyway, um, might rest a few legs. I'd, ideally, I know it's not the JPT. This is the Capital One Cup, but I reckon uh, winning the JPT would be quite nice. Cup and cup and league double. I know it's early days, or I've only played one game, I'm not even played in the JPT, I'll probably lose. But, you know, it's not too bad. Not too bad. So the final result of that match was Wigan 3, Mansfield 1. We got a nice win. A bit disappointed with the goal conceded, to be honest. We, it looked poor defensively. Anyway, we're through. That's all that matters. Next game tomorrow. I'll bring three matches tomorrow. We're going to play the Brighton Crew and Blackpool. Um, but for now, for this video, that's it. Um, it's probably been awful watching, but you know, I'll hopefully improve in time. Um, feel, please feel free to leave a like or subscri sub sub subscribe to my channel. And peace out. See you tomorrow. I'm Spesh. This is the Wigan Revival.